Hi, this is Dorothy back again from Dot Scrapbooking. So we are going to do the first card pattern in Make It From Your Heart, Volume 5. But it's pattern 21, but it's the first card pattern. Super, super simple. You've got um, four and a quarter by one and a half inch strip. That's this part A. B is two and a fourth by two and a fourth. C is two by two. And then D is uh, two by one and a half. So um, let's see what we can do here. Okay, here's my four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I'm going to continue on with the uh, Eat, Play, Love paper and use more of it up. And okay, so I need four and a quarter right there. There's a good size strip. Okay, and I'm just making this all the way out to the edge. I could have done done it to with a little bit of a white edge, but I didn't. They don't really have it that way on the instructions. You know what? Let me get my layout close to my heart mat. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. These cherries are going every which way. I was trying to see if there was a more of a right way, but they kind of go every which way. Okay, so there's there is that. And then we want a piece that is four and a quarter by one and a half. Let's see, what am I going to use for that? I thought I had this all figured out. Let me see if I've got a darker piece of cardstock in my bag. And I don't. Okay, we're using scraps, right? So this one is, what do we want, one and a half? Let me just take this down a little bit. One and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so that's going to go along that way. And it is, it goes one and three fourths inches up from the bottom. So if I come over to the edge here and do one and three fourths, that's going to be like right there. Okay. I think that let's see. Yeah, that's going to be too much. Okay, so we want a piece that is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. 
And so I'm going to make this to, you know what I could do is use is cute. Let's see what else we've got over here with our Picture My Life cards. Let's see what color looks. It's kind of an almondy. But then there's the red. Guess who likes the red? Could always use this one and then just put a white square on the inside let's see see this would have been good too hmm very cute okay what am I doing oh I get so distracted <laughs> two and a quarter by two and a quarter right So that is going to go right in here. And they do have like a little ribbon showing, showing there. So this could actually be like instead of a ribbon. That or that. I think I like that. Okay, let me trim some of this off. So this is going to be four and a quarter. Also, I'm really going on the fly here, just so you know. If I think like I'm disorganized, I am, because I'm just thinking on the fly. And let me cut this little strip down just a tad. I just want to take those little dashed lines off. is cute. And I'm just trying to think of what what little saying do I want in there? And you know, It's hard to know. Okay. I am going to put this here. I'm going to cut a two by two out of white daisy. See, I use that for a die cut. Here's my two by two. And then I'm going to do one that's a half an inch by two. Okay. 
Okay. So this is going to go here. And I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> use this is the new stamp of the month for May. And so it's got that folk art uh, design to it, but it has um, keep smiling just because. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a Just Keep Smiling on here. And I'm going to do that in Candy Apple. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so that's, I like, that's just kind of little whimsical font that's so cute. Just keep smiling. Okay, and then this one is going to be I think it's going to be one of these flowers. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's going to be this flower. It's going to go smack in the middle. Whoops, sorry. I knocked you upside the head. I'm so sorry. That's what we do in Texas. We knock you upside the head. Okay. Season. Ooh, that was a juicy stamp. I think I just made a mess. I'll try flipping that over and try it again. Okay. See, that's the great thing about cardstock. It has two sides. That is one juicy stamp. Okay, so I'll put my little stamp back and my little foam sheet so I get a good impression. And let me just kind of put that away. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is you know, I think I'm going to just give the edge a little red. Just a bit of an edge. put it down and then just keep smiling. I'm going to trim that down a little bit. And I think I'll edge it the same way.
That's my lunch date. Well, it is Cinco de Mayo, which is May 5th in Texas. And this is going to be the first time that I go out and meet with some friends for lunch. And they're all scrapbookers. So how much fun is that? Okay. Okay. These are really old little puffies. And I'm going to put a little heart here and a little heart here. And I'm going to color, I'm gonna color, I haven't used my pencils in a while, so I'm just gonna color this little flower. And it's a lot of red on here, so maybe I'll color it turquoise. Just do the inside of the petal a little darker. Okay, and let's see, where's my little This is my lagoon brush. Okay, that's gonna, looks like it's gonna spread a little bit. And I think what I'm gonna do is use my except I don't see it. I was gonna use my clear. I know I had it in here. Here it is. Okay, there's there is my my card pattern 21 from Make It From Your Heart Volume 5 using scraps. Just scraps. So let me give you a close-up. Okay. There it is, my card from Scraps. So thank you so much for watching. This is Dot Scrapbooking. This is Dorothy signing out. You know, leave me a comment, subscribe to my website. Tell me how you do things. I'd love to hear it. Thank you. Bye-bye.